And we're back with another card specs where we talk about cards or products that we either like, dislike, or don't know what to think about them. Your hands giving vibrations in my teeth. Excellent. Today we are talking about a chain, and this a chain that this guy in particular wanted to, to uh, discuss. It's underrated, get underrated, get overpowered. There you go. I've been talking forever. Anyways, uh, it's the coral ride chain. Yep, coral ride chain or a star coral is the main focus of this. And I'll we'll discuss its chain and vaguely too because it's kind of cool. Yep, uh, grade zero. If you ride the right grade one, you can look at top seven to add the grade two or three into your hand if it's there. If you ride a different one, it just gets called from sole to rear. Uh, the grade one, if you ride a grade two that isn't her, you can look at top seven and try to find a copy of her and superior ride that. Uh, the grade two, if her attack hits the vanguard, you can bounce a front row Bermuda. If the grade one's in solo, you can also bounce a back row. That car we'll probably talk about in its own segment later on. Mm -hmm. But now for the main course. Uh, the grade three. Well, like all other incarnations of this, if you have the previous one in slow, permanent plus 1k buff in the Vanguard. Limit break, counter blast two, you can slow charge one to bounce a Rear from Mita, and she gains 5,000 power for battle, or in turn, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's, under, it's like, again, it's underrated, especially considering they're selling them at for $2. <laughs> But their face when I got second, making the deck last minute, and won with a 19 card hand. <laughs> it's the thing I've been saying a lot about things recently. Uh, never us to underestimate card just because it doesn't look good on paper. Because some clever Asian will kick your ass with it. <laughs> yeah, it's a funny thing that certain someone never can understand, no matter how many times we beat it into their head. I don't know why. People just think it's overcosted for some reason. And some, yeah. And some people are actually having different designs to how to build this. Unlike other Bermuda decks, this is actually one of the most flexible ones. It's one of the few decks that you can actually play stands in and not look like an idiot. Labrador! Um, but that's for another story. Um, actually, we're both building yeah. this deck. He's doing um, draws, I'm doing stands. She doesn't rely, uh, she has to rely on other units for it to be like better, but then again, that's most, most uh, decks do. They do combo plays. Mm -hmm. You're effectively counterblasting two for plus nine because you're usually bouncing clear or Celtic or Irish, and you get like multiple lanes with numbers, and that's always good. Um, unfortunately, like, or if you're like super silly, you can uh, bounce Rio. Consumes three of your counterblasts, but hey. If you don't think you're going to end up healing, then by all means, go ahead. I was going to end up using Karin because I didn't have any Verts. Um, <laughs> Verts a good quote-unquote auxiliary vanguard because it essentially does the same thing. Giant center lane and rear guard lane. It only does it once because you have to ride a grade three over it. Earth's just kind of neat because you don't need to put anything behind Coral on the turn you break, right? Yeah. Um, also, I'm missing. Well, we'll talk about the grade two later because the mid game for this deck is where everything. Yeah. But we'll get talk about the deck later too. Yeah. Well, I'll talk about the deck a lot later. So that's pretty much all we need to say for Coral in this video. Tune in the next time where we have the entire deck. Uh, that'll do it for this card specs. Bye. 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 Bye.